In this presentation, we will consider one special problem on how to check whether a year is a leap year or not. So let's get started. Let's first try to understand what is a leap year. Leap year is a year having 366 days. The extra day is the 29th February. Leap year arrives after every four years. That means a leap year is a year which arrives after every four years. It is having exactly 366 days. The extra day is the 29th February. In a normal year, we have 365 days. But in a leap year, we are having 366 days. The extra day is the 29th February. Now please note down this point that every year that is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year. Except the centurial year that is exactly divisible by 100. But these centurial years are leap years if they are exactly divisible by 400. What does it really mean? That means a year which is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year. Except the centurial year. A centurial year is not a leap year if it is exactly divisible by 100. But if a centurial year is divisible by 400, then it is considered to be as a leap year. After understanding these basics, let's now consider one important question. How to check whether a year is a leap year or not? There are some conditions on which we can check whether a year is a leap year or not. The first condition is, if a year is divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. No doubt about it. For example, 2000 is divisible by 400, right? Therefore, it is a leap year. Second condition is, if a year is not divisible by 400, but it is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year. As we already know, if a year is not divisible by 400, but it is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year. For example, 1900 is divisible by 100, right? But it is not divisible by 400. Therefore, it is not a leap year. The third condition is, if a year is not divisible by 400 and not divisible by 100, but it is divisible by 4, then it is a leap year. For example, 2012 is not divisible by 400 and it is also not divisible by 100, but it is divisible by 4. Therefore, it is a leap year. On the basis of these three conditions, we can construct our code, which can check whether a year is a leap year or not. As you can see in this code, I'm asking the user to enter the year and I'm storing the year inside this year variable. Then I'm simply checking is year is divisible by 400 or not. If a year is divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. Otherwise, if a year is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year. Otherwise, if a year is divisible by 4, then it is a leap year. Else, it is not a leap year. Let's execute this code now. Let's enter the year 2000. 2000 is a leap year, which is correct. Let's execute this code once again. Let's enter the year 4000, let's say. 4000 is also a leap year. Let's execute this code once again. 1900, let's see whether 1900 is a leap year or not. No, 1900 is not a leap year. Let's now enter the year 2012. 2012 is a leap year, which is correct. As you can see, this code works fine for all the years, right? And it can successfully check whether a year is a leap year or not. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.